stories about criminals incapacitating victims with chloroform have been around almost as long as the chemical was used as an anesthetic. However, in reality, no one has ever proven that it has been successfully used to incapacitate someone during a non-lethal criminal activity, at least not without the use of another drug like alcohol. It just doesn't work like it does in the movies. It takes at least five minutes of inhaling chloroform fumes to render someone unconscious. After that, a continuous supply must be administered to the victim in order for them to stay under. Failure to keep the chin supported will result in the victim's tongue blocking their airway and suffocating them. So, the whole notion of sticking a rag over someone's mouth, throwing them in a trunk and then waiting for them to wake up in a few hours is just not going to happen. In the movies, every time the police have to trace a call, they have to keep the person talking long enough for the process to work. However, this hasn't been true since the 70s when phone carriers stopped using operators and switchboards and started using electronic switching mechanisms. The same technology that allows your caller ID to recognize a call also allows police to locate the call. Cell phones operate a little differently since they aren't tied to one specific location. Even so, Police can instantly track a phone that has GPS activated, and they can even use cell towers to triangulate the location of a phone without GPS. While shows like to present the triangulation process as instantaneous. Whether it's Jax Bauer, Daredevil or a James Bond villain. They all agree that the best way to get information from someone when you don't have much time is to use physical torture. Their choice to do so isn't only unethical, it's also downright stupid as study after study has shown that torture doesn't get fruitful results. Imagine you're being tortured for information that you don't know or that you've already revealed, but your tormentors didn't believe. What would you do? For most of us. The answer would be to tell the interrogator whatever he wanted to hear so the torture would end. Both Pulp Fiction and The Rock show a character surviving an otherwise deadly experience by injecting a drug straight into the heart. While intracardiac injections are real. They are almost never used because there are plenty of ways to administer medicine without the potentially lethal risk of shooting something straight into the heart. Injecting medicine into a person's bloodstream through a vein is a pretty effective method of distributing a drug, given that blood circulates through the entire body in less than a minute. If you've ever watched CSI, NCICE, Law & Order or any cop shows in the last two decades, you're probably familiar with forensic science and its important role the criminal justice system. While forensic science is vital to helping provide evidence critical to putting someone behind bars, it doesn't solve a crime on its own. On TV or in movies, investigators find a loose hair, a speck of blood, a used cup, chewed gum, etc. at a crime scene. 